everybody welcome back to my kitchen and my channel I'm Helena and today we're making a very easy lingon berry jam dash slice sauce why we don't want it too uh, too thick and we don't want it to lose neither I'm starting to prepare you for when I'm making my Swedish meatballs lingon berry sauce jam is something that cannot be missed when you're serving or eating Swedish meatballs. Okay, okay, let's get started, all right? So what we need here is a smaller cooking pot, about this size here, I can put my hand next to it, you can see it. I've only put in, there we go, this much water into here, okay? I've put in already 100 grams of lingon berries. I don't have access to fresh lingon berries in Cancun, Mexico. Uh, I used to be able to buy lingon berry jam, etc. in the groceries, impossible to find. So this video is really dedicated to all you people that live in areas where you cannot buy this in the groceries or get the berries fresh, so you know how to make it from dried lingon berries. These you can buy most groceries around the world, okay? And the dry lingon berries, they look like this, okay? Now, we're going to put all of this. I've got already 100 grams in, in my pot. And I'm adding another 200 grams. So 300 grams all together. Put all of it in here. Uh, make sure that there's enough water in for these berries to soak in. And we're going to put it uh, on the stove and boil this up we can use a lid here and if we need more water we'll add it on once it starts boiling we're gonna add sugar in there all righty well the lingon berries have been boiling for about two three minutes what i'm gonna do is just set them aside in the hot water leave the water in turn the stove off in the meantime and let these sit here for maybe five Five, ten minutes to make sure that they soak up as much water as possible okay I'm gonna leave the lid on okay so they've been left as I said for about five ten I think I left them for about 10 12 minutes um, this is what it looks like right now there's very very little water left in here but the berries have swollen up nicely now I'm gonna put this here and I'm gonna try to um, Crunch them a bit. I'm using one that's for potatoes, but you can use a blender or a mixer of some kind if you want to. I'm just going to do a little bit of blending. I don't want all of the berries to just be mushed up, but some of them, yes. Okay, now what I will do here is add on a little bit of more water. We're gonna do actually before I do the water, let me do the sugar that way it doesn't get all sticky here. I don't want this to be too sour, but I don't want it to be too sweet neither. So I'm gonna put this is one deciliter, it's about a hundred grams that I'm putting in here. Normal sugar, you can use brown sugar if you want to, and we'll do one one quarter more like uh what is that 25 grams more on there and now i'm gonna add on some more water and we're just gonna put on one and a half of water to this uh, mix it up a little bit and put it back onto the stove to boil. The sugar is going to boil in and it's going to thicken up quite a bit for us here. Okay, so let's do that. So whilst we're waiting for the lingon berries to cook up, uh, please guys leave me a comment. I really want to know if you uh, like the recipes we're making in this channel. And I really uh, want to know what you think or if you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, if you like the video, give me the thumbs up, give me a like underneath. And obviously, if you're interested in continuing getting recipes from me, hit that subscribe button in red underneath. Okay, it'd be 
two three minutes and we'll have that lingam cooked up okay so our lingam berries have been cooking for about 10 minutes this is what they look like right now now this is the consistency you want on these they're not runny but they're not completely dry neither good enough to serve on a plate with Swedish meatballs and a lot of other dishes typical northern for that matter all right so what's left to do is we're taking a can like this this one here is a bit large for what we have but I don't have a smaller one available so I'm just gonna open it up make sure it's clean I actually washed it up so it should be and we'll take our lingam and we'll put them in here careful they don't fall to the side go slow next now they're in a can leave it open for a bit so that it can cool down a bit before we close it okay so uh, they have uh, cooled down a little bit at least i can touch the can and uh, i've evened them out a bit so that they're on the same level now that the water have dried up within the berries they're a little bit bittersweet which is perfect for our meatballs now what we're going to do is just close this one up okay and then we do this this the swedish way take this can and turn it around get everything down to the bottom like this this creates a vacuum which will keep these um lingonberry sealed let's leave it like this uh for let's say another hour and then we're just going to put it into the fridge i've got other canned things that I'm made and uh, next video I'm going to do is the cucumber the Swedish way how we can that that's another must that we need to have with our Swedish meatballs and um, I've had those sitting in the fridge people say they last for a year we got quite frankly one of these cans that I've kept in there I've had for almost two years and they're perfectly fine open up serve eat no difference in taste no nothing and as you see this is very easy to make real fast okay now uh i think that will be it for today uh, give me a thumbs up underneath give me a like uh hit the subscribe button and i will see you next video where we're making the the cucumber canned or pickled in a swedish way thanks you so much for watching